In this video we introduce the concept of center of a group. The center Z G of a group G is the subset of elements in G that commute with every element of G. So center of G is the set A in G such that AX equals XA for all X in G. Um, this word, uh, we use Z because in, in German, in German the word is Zentrum. Okay. Okay. So just to give a quick uh, intuition of this concept of center. So we have a group G and Z of G will be some will be the center if the, um, the elements here so this will be A and this will be X okay so A times X A times X equals X times A so they commit Okay, so all the elements that will be here, okay, so this will be the center of G. If all these elements here commute to all the elements of the group that are not here, okay, that's the center of a group. Uh, now we have another theorem. The center is a subgroup. So the theorem says the center of a group G is a subgroup of G. And we are going to, to do the proof. Um, it's quite obvious that the identity will be in the center. Okay, so the center is non empty. Okay, now that we know that the center is non empty, we are going to use the, the two step subgroup test. So if you remember well, we take for all A and B in H, we prove that AB is in H, and the second step is to prove that for all A, for all A in H, the inverse is also in H. Okay. Okay. Let us continue with the proof. So the identity is in the center, so the center is not empty. Now, um, we take A and B in the center. Okay, if A and B, two arbitrary elements, are in the center, so A, I can make the product of them and the product with X any element in the group. Okay, so since this is a group, I can associate those two, okay, the, the two elements from the center. Um, but do not forget they are in the center, so b times x equals x times b okay so i can write it this way okay uh, but a is an element from the center so a times x equals x times a right times b okay now 
and since this is true this will be any element okay you can even forget that this is the well not exactly uh, x a b okay we can write it this way too okay because those two are elements in the in the center okay for all x in g right so a b will be elements in the center so look well a b times or oh, here um, yes here a b times x equals x a b okay so this first condition is checked now uh, so we should conclude here right so okay let me uh, so a and b are in z g okay now uh, now we have to check this the second condition okay so this this condition is checked okay um, now we assume that A is in the center. Okay, so if A is in the center, then A times X equals X times A for all X in G. Um, so we have this condition. We want to we want to prove this, right? We want to prove that an element in H, uh, there is an inverse also in H. Okay, this is the so-called two-step subgroup test. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to. Uh, this is a group. Okay, so I'm going to left multiply. Okay, a x. Um, I'm going to left multiply a x, and right multiply ax to so ax and the inverse here okay now um, a is the center right <coughs> so I can rewrite this this way right um, x a inverse and here I can do a inverse times a x a inverse okay okay now um, so this one times this one it will be the identity and here we have um, Okay, I. What I want to do here is to. To. Um, exchange these two. Here. So I. Um, I would say. The inverse. X. Times the identity okay I'm missing here two steps okay but I I'm, I'm pretty sure you can do this the steps the steps are really easy okay so the identity times all this it will be identity inverse and here it will be inverse times X because identity times this get the same so it's like a um, the inverse of A that was in, Z, in in the center, the inverse is also in the center. When A is in the center, the inverse is in the center. So second condition for the two-step subgroup test uh, is checked and this um, proves the, the theorem that the, 
the that the, the the center of a group G is a subgroup of G. We use the the two-step subgroup test, and this concludes the the theorem. I just want to call your attention for uh, a very important detail. Uh, I'm, I'm going to write it. Um, Groups need not be commutative, okay? Because people see this, that we start here, right, and we get here, but all this is only using the, the center and group operations, okay? Using the inverse, etc. You don't, you, um, the group need not to be commutative, okay? For the center to be uh, a subgroup of the group. This is very important, okay? The group need not be commutative. Mm -hmm.